Hello, this tutorial will focus on how to build assessments using PearsonSuccessNet.com. Using the Planning Tools tab, we will build tests using the My Test Center. We will click on My Test. The My Test function provides access to the test bank where you can create, edit, view, and delete tests. You can also preview test questions and assign the assembled test to your students. Now, we will click on Build New Test to create a test. In the Test Name field, type a unique test name. In the description field, type a description of the test. This step is optional. Using the find items based on list, select the set of standards or skills being tested. Here, we will select the appropriate grade level, six, and common core standards. Now, we will select one of the following methods to build our test. The methods are, let the system choose the questions, or I'll choose the questions myself. We will select, let the system choose the questions. Next, we will select one of the following scoring options. Use only questions that can be automatically scored. Here, SuccessNet selects only questions that can be scored automatically, such as multiple choice, art and true false, or selected response. The scoring option to use any type of question, including items I have to score myself, are questions that can be scored both automatically and manually. These questions tend to lend itself to short response or essay or otherwise known as constructed response. Now we will click next. In selecting search options, we will choose language arts, grade six, Common Core State Standards for English Language Arts. Next, we will choose the standards to be tested. Reading Standards for Literature, Reading Standards for Informational Text, Writing Standards, Speaking and Listening Standards, and Language Standards. To select the standards for a unit assessment, be sure to use the Unit Common Assessment Blueprint that is provided on SharePoint. We will select the following strands, literature, informational, writing, and language. Now click next. From here, we will select specific standards using the blueprint. For language standards for unit one, we will select language standard one, two, and four. Next, we will select reading standards using our blueprint for unit one. Those reading standards are reading standard one, two, four, and six. Now, 
Next, we will select the writing standards for unit one. Those are one and four. If you notice, for writing standard four, there are 23 items available. For writing standard one, there are eight items available. For literature standard six, 46 standards available. So if you look to the right column, that is the number of items available for the standards that you've selected. Now we will click next. Now we will select how many items we want for each standard. So for language standard one, we have 632 items available, but we will need to select standards, the number of questions we want per standard. As a rule of thumb, we choose more than two questions per standard. We would like to choose more than three, depending on the time available that for the assessment, you will need to choose three or more standards. For example, if a student misses one question out of three, then it shows that he or she received 66% proficiency. But if they get one question out of two correct, it will show that they only know 50% of that standard. So we need to make sure that we are assessing students with the appropriate amount of questions to demonstrate proficiency on a standard. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will choose three questions for each standard that we have chosen. If you notice, reading informational text standard four, there are no items available. So we could not select one for there, for that standard. Now we will finish and preview. completed building your test, the test builder wizard, you can preview versions of the assembled test that your students can see. Those versions consist of online and print. In addition to viewing your test questions and correct answers, you can also modify or assign your test on this page. Click the online version to view the online version and your test will appear on the screen. To view the paper version, Click view paper version. Your test appears in PDF format. To view a test summary, click view summary. A view test summary page will appear. This concludes our tutorial on how to create tests using PearsonSuccessNet.com. If you have any questions, please contact me, Dr. Alicia Hill at arhill at atlanta.k12.ga.us.